Let's talk about geographic names that trip up lots and lots of folks, including me sometimes. We know that there are lots of them out there, and we've asked you to send us your ideas, typical, typical things, and besides that, that people trip on. Well, we got lots of suggestions and also corrections, and you continue to let us know when we get names wrong, like Martha, who sent us this email after a story about the town of Alsi. She wrote that the Al is pronounced as in Allen. You're pronouncing it as in all, she said. Sorry about that. Thanks for that, Martha. That one is not always easy to remember, and it did get us thinking about all the other names in Oregon that people have trouble with. Listen, we know it's not easy. I've heard pronounced Wilmette. I've heard it pronounced Willamette. I've heard it pronounced Willamette. The way to remember it, of course, is Willamette, damn it. But it's not always clear. Scapoos, not Scapoos. And honestly, sometimes even the locals don't agree. Langlois. 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 Langlois fan. Langlois. Langlois. Like, is it Albina or Albina? The actually correct pronunciation was Albina. It's named after a woman. Her name was Albina Page. I had no idea. And are there more that we've been pronouncing wrong? I believe that uh, Gleason, uh, this is the way the people pronounce it here, was originally Gleason. It's universally uh, said as, as Gleason. But the actual name of the fellow, Rodney Glisson. There are a lot of names around here that can be pretty tricky. The, G-H-E, separate word, D-A-L-L-E-S. Everybody wants to say Dallies, or they want to just cut it short to Dallas. And if you're new here, sometimes you got to wonder, are the locals just trolling me? Because, yes. This word is couch, but... Looks like couch, but it is uh, cooch. Thing we can all agree on, though, nothing riles up an Oregonian more than... A lot of folks back east, it's, it's Oregon. Then there are the ones that are spelled the same, but pronounced differently depending on where you are. The headquarters of the Coquel tribe uh, sits in North Bend, Oregon, which is about 25 miles uh, north of the town of Coquille. The town itself was pronounced Coquel for many, many years, and it wasn't until later that it became Coquille. For the Coquel tribe, the pronunciation is an effort to take back their tribal identity after termination. When we realized all of this history of Coquel, we thought, wouldn't it be cool if we actually pronounced our name the way that it was intended to be pronounced. Coquel tribal members today both pronounce the word Coquel and Coquille. Here in the KGW newsroom, when we need to know how to pronounce a name, we go to the guy who stares at maps all day. Yahats. Right about there. Alsi, also right in there on the coast. Klatskanai, which is up on the Columbia River. Aloha, Washington County. Molino. Honey. Oh, you dropped one. Tumalo. Some people say Tumalo. I've heard both, but I usually go with Tumalo. And there's a Tumalo Mountain down near Bend. There's also a little town called Tumalo. Terrebonne, which translates to the beautiful land. And that is in Central Oregon as well, near Redmond. Wallawa, which is in Northeast Oregon. There's a mountain range. There's also the little town of Wallawa. Lebanon, which is down the valley, kind of northeast of Eugene. Maupin, over on the Deschutes River in eastern Oregon, right about in there. Chilliquin, which is down in southern Oregon, north of Klamath Falls and south of, north of Klamath Falls and south of Chamolt. Vida, which is in the valley. And Ty Valley, which is over on the east side of Mountain Hood. Shanico, also on the east side of Mount Hood, near what used to be known as Antelope, which later became Rajneesh Puram, where the Rajneeshis were doing their thing. This is Owyhee, which is down in southeast Oregon. Way down here, there's the Owyhee River and the Owyhee Mountains. Jervis, also in the Willamette Valley. And Philomath, which is near Corvallis, also in the valley here, home of Western, Western Oregon University, I believe. No, that's Monmouth. Sorry, you got me on that one. All right, that's Sio, the C is silent. 
and Willamina, also in the Willamette, Will Willamette Valley, of course. And that is Adana, which is over in Northeast Oregon. As a little flashcard quiz there for Matt Safino at the end. He does not miss anything. Nice job to Ashley Koch, our producer who put that whole story together.